Imagine checking a bag, breezing through airport security, and being all set to board your flight to some exotic destination, only to be denied boarding by the gate agent as you go to get on the plane. In today's video, I'll be covering the top five reasons that international travelers find themselves denied boarding from their international flights to hopefully save you from becoming one of these travelers. If you do find this video at all helpful, I would appreciate it if you gave it a quick like as it really does support the channel. When it comes to international travel, the gate agent is going to be checking that your travel documents are compliant with the entry requirements of the destination country. They care about much more than just having a valid flight ticket, because if for some reason you are denied entry into the country upon landing, it is the airline that is liable to transport you back out of the country. The first reason, in no particular order, that you may be denied from boarding your flight is because your passport does not meet the requirements of the country that you will be arriving in. Passport validity requirements are going to vary country by country, but a few common things include that you must have at least six months before the passport expiration date at your time of travel, that the passport is in overall decent condition, and that you have at least one or two completely blank pages available. Some countries even require travelers to have a minimum of six blank passport pages for them to enter their country. The next reason is that you don't have the proper vaccinations or that your vaccinations are out of date. Some countries in which certain viruses or diseases are very common, they will ask you to show proof that you have a vaccine against it prior to entering the country. You may also be asked to show proof of a vaccine if you are departing from a country where certain conditions are prevalent. For example, I had to show proof of my yellow fever vaccine prior to boarding a flight to Uganda. The requirement for vaccines is likely to become increasingly common, so do your research and don't just assume what is or isn't required. The third reason that you could be denied from your international flight is because you don't meet the visa requirements. Many countries will require you to apply for or obtain a visa prior to arriving. So if your destination requires a travel, student, business, and so on visa, be prepared to show it to the gate agent. While I've never been rejected at the gate, I did have to rebook a flight to Vietnam due to not having my approval letter that I needed in order to get a visa on arrival. I didn't realize that my online application to be able to receive a visa on arrival when I did arrive in Vietnam was going to take five business days to process. I put the request in on a Monday and my flight was booked for the following Friday. When Friday came around and I still hadn't received my approval letter, I had to cancel my flights and rebook for the following week. Not only did I have to pay several hundred dollars to book a brand new flight, but because I also wasn't flying from home, I had to find a hotel for an extra three days, and then I lost the non-refundable two nights that I booked at a hotel on my arrival in Vietnam. Definitely triple check the visa requirements, the wait times, and then also know that you probably need to apply in advance for a visa on arrival, despite the very misleading name. I'll leave a link below to a very simple site that I use where you can apply for a visa and also find up-to-date visa information based on your citizenship and the destination country. Hello, puppy. Yes, you love your screen time. All the groomers are closed with the lockdown that we're in, so I recently cut his bangs and I didn't do a very good job, but this is one of the first times I've seen his eyes in months. The next reason that you may be denied from boarding your international flight is because you don't have proof of onward travel. If you plan to fly internationally, you will likely need to provide evidence that you will eventually be exiting that country. This is to prove that you are not planning to illegally immigrate there and that also you will be leaving within the allotted time, which is going to vary based on your citizenship, the country that you're going to, and the specific visa that you obtained. Whether or not you actually take the flight out of the country is irrelevant. You just have to show proof that you are at least intending to exit the country within that time frame. The simplest and most common way to show proof of onward travel is to book a round trip ticket. If you do have set travel plans, this is also likely going to be the most economical way given that round trip tickets are often priced better than one way tickets would be priced, at least when it comes to long haul international flights. 
But buying a round trip ticket is not a great solution for long-term travelers, backpackers, or those that want to keep their plans flexible and don't necessarily know when or which country they will be flying out of. This is common for someone that may be spending several months backpacking around South America, Europe, or even Southeast Asia, where you don't necessarily know what country you're gonna inevitably fly home from or when that's even going to be, since you'll be going country to country, likely by land borders or budget flights that you book on the fly. No pun intended. Oh, I'm just so funny. Aren't I funny, Ollie? You could book a ticket for land transportation, like a bus or a train that's going to cross an international border. These tickets can be cheap to book, so it's not a big deal even if you don't end up using it. But you are taking a pretty big risk. Do your research as many governments are going to require a flight proving that you will depart their country, and a bus ticket or a train ticket just won't cut it. Another option is to buy a refundable one-way ticket out of the country. These are becoming increasingly easy to find. Just make sure that you read the fine print and see that there's no cancellation or rebooking fees and also that you'll be refunded in cash and not just in airline credit. If you are going to a region where there are budget flights between countries, you could also consider just booking a non-refundable flight. I did this when I took my first long-term trip to Thailand. I planned on extending my visa while I was there, but still needed to show proof that I was leaving within the 30-day limit of my arrival. I ended up booking a non-refundable flight from Thailand to Malaysia. It was $30, so I really didn't care that I had no intention of actually using it. And finally, you could use a service called Onward Ticket that's going to sell you a completely valid airline ticket that will expire 48 hours later. It has an actual PNR code, so if the gate agent scanned the ticket or looked it up in their system, it would be a valid ticket under your name. You'll be paying for the reservation fee, but not the actual price of the ticket. This means that by using their service, you can have proof of Onward travel for as little as $15. The fifth and final reason that you may be denied from boarding your international flight is a little bit trickier to avoid than the other reasons previously listed. The gate agent has the right to deny you from boarding the plane if they have reason to believe that you will be disrupting the flight experience for the other passengers. The way you act, look, dress, or even smell could end up having you denied from boarding your flight. I'll cover these, along with all the other reasons you could be denied from boarding your flight in another video, as well as additional fees that you may end up having to pay, whether you are flying domestic or international. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a quick like if you enjoyed it, and also let us know down in the comments where you plan to travel next. Thanks again, safe travels, and I'll see you back here for another video soon. Bye.